further ado, we're going to get straight to the point here and give all of you a quick tour of what's actually out on the market today. So we're going to show you some real counterfeit devices and then look at the details of them. So just to begin with, I'm going to show you a very typical counterfeit device. There are many of these on the market. This is a fake Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I'm going to start with the box because the box is what the unwitting consumer first sees. And it's actually quite impressive. So first of all, this is identical to the size and shape of the real Note 8 box in, in every detail. There's a picture of the stylus on the side. You see all of the information on the back, just like you'd see on, on the real device. At the other end of the box, you see the IMEI and the barcode, correct IMEI for the device. And ironically, at the far end, they even have the tamper protection seal, although they put the, the sticker in such a way that you can't actually break it. But anyway, so, so that's what the, the, the box looks like. At this point, a consumer has no idea that they've just purchased a fake device. This, this box is perfect. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So at this level, again, the device is essentially perfect. The, it opens, or sorry, the, the packaging is perfect. It opens just like you'd expect a real Samsung box to open. And before we look at the, at the actual device, I'm going to show you a little bit of what's in the box, because that's quite impressive too. So first of all, there's the Getting Started Guide, just like Samsung included in their, in their boxes. It's in the correct font. It says all the correct things. It's perfect. Put that away. And we have our tray. Underneath, you see the charger. We have the charging cable. And in here, there's um, the set of headphones. So everything that you'd expect to be in this uh, box is present and correct. So now let's have a look at the device itself. So you can't really see this on the camera, but in the hand, this device feels perfect. The size is correct. The fit and finish is immaculate. The seams are tight. Everything about it feels premium. If we look on the side, you see the, the Bixby button is even included. On the other side, you've got the, the power button. At this end, there's nothing to see here. Uh, and finally, there's a USB-C charging socket, uh, the stylus that's expected for a, a note device, and of course, a headphone jack. So at this point, again, the, the user, the unwitting consumer, has no idea that they've purchased a fake device. It is perfect. So let's turn it on. So the, the camera isn't doing this justice, but this screen is really, really good. The colors are excellent, and the brightness is really, really good. So let's, let's unlock it. The home screen is exactly as you'd expect on a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. If we swipe up to look at the, the apps, you can see the Samsung browsers there, the S Planner, the Samsung Help app. So every detail of this has been thought through. And these are, these are the real versions of the apps. They're not fake versions. They're the actual versions of the Samsung app running on a fake device. Let's go back home again. If I press the Bixby button on the side, up comes Bixby, just like you'd expect. So even at a software package level, this device is exactly what you would expect to see had you purchased a, a real Galaxy Note 8. So the, the, the consumer has no idea at this point that the device is fake. So that's a, a Galaxy Note 8. But the counterfeiters don't, of course, stop with, Note devi with um, Android devices. They're quite happy to counterfeit anything. So let's have a look at the iOS world. So on the screen, you will see two um, iPhone 10 boxes. One is real, one is fake. And you, can, you can barely tell the difference. The, the dimensions are absolutely perfect. Even if you purchase an iPhone 10 and you have a box, it's still really difficult to tell the difference. I'll turn them over so you can see the sides. There's the iPhone logo that you'd expect. On the back, you see you know, all the various information that you'd expect to see, including the IMEI, the barcode, and so on. So it, essentially perfect at this level. So I'm going to put aside the real one and go to the fake device and open it up and see what's inside. So you, you can't really see this, but the, the fit and finish of this box is absolutely superb. It has that snug Apple uh, fit that you'd expect. It comes off just like you'd expect. It's perfect. Inside, you have the design by Apple in California, the Getting Started Guide. If I open up that, I've taken out the device, but you can see the headphones and charger are present, as you'd expect. The headphones are coiled exactly the same way that you see on the real device. The charger is identical. So the user at this point has no idea. So let's put that away for a second, and we'll have a look at some of the actual devices. So I, I have the corresponding real and fake um, iPhone 10s here. One has a screen protector, so it's, it's not doing it justice, but 
there's nothing to tell these devices apart. Look at the, the, the dimensions, absolutely spot on. Power button on the back, you have the, the dual camera, as you'd expect, the Apple logo, everything is present. On the bottom, you have the speaker grills, the lightning charging port. Still, you can't tell which is which. So that's an iPhone 10 device, absolutely immaculate, perfect hardware. So I'm going to put them inside and show you another device. So part of what constitutes a smartphone is the software bundle. The hardware, um, they, they do a perfect job of the hardware, but to really fool a user, you have to get the software correct as well. So I'm going to look at another fake device. This is a fake um, iPhone 7. It's physically perfect again. If we now turn it on to have a look at what's inside. So I'm going to unlock it with my fingerprint, and there's the home screen. So that, any of you who use iOS, that'll be quite familiar. But here's the thing. This is running Android. That is not iOS. And even though it's running Android, everything that you'd expect to be there, there's the, the notification screen and the control panel, down, the control center, I think they call it, down the bottom. Everything is perfect and functional, exactly like you'd expect. And just to give you uh, all a, a sense of just how much work has gone into this, I'm going to focus on one little app. This is an app that almost nobody uses, but, but, but yeah, look, let's have a look at how they, they faked it. We're going to have a look at the compass app. So I'm going to click the compass. Up comes the compass, and it you know, does its rotation thing. And it's identical to the, the real Apple compass app. But here's the thing. This physical device does not have a compass in it. It doesn't have the hardware to support a compass. So think about this. Even though this device doesn't have the hardware to support a compass, and the compass is a really rarely used app, they've nonetheless faked it completely. They've spent the time to fake this completely even though it's a fairly little used app. So th this gives you a sense of the, the depth of work that's behind this device. This, is a, this isn't something that's made in single units. This is a big production thing with a whole industry behind it.